Back to the channel, Farm Rival Extreme here. Here we are on the 24th of May 2024 for a plethora of new cracking mods. We've got some awesome mods looking at today, including the Big Bob Pack, some awesome sheds with some free items. But first of all, as always, time to actually be down below for any individual mod you wish to look at. Without any further ado, we're going to be first of all looking at the Manure Heap. This is by Hell River or H3LLRI, or well, sorry, RVIZER, but Hell River, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. 2.77 megabytes to download, and essentially what this is is a small manure heap. Costs only 500 to place some, daily upkeep of 25, and the capacity is just 3,000 there, so yeah, it's gonna be one of those if you've got like a small farm in that, this should be with like 5 or 10, 15 cows, something like that. But anyways, you'll find it's under buildings, under silos, and towards the end. And yeah, we can configure it in terms of rotating it by 90 degrees. But that is it. But of course, if you're familiar with manure heaps, and that they only rotate 90 degrees for the most part. And yeah, also you can unload it here and that. So just get your tray over here, press L3 as I am on the PlayStation here, and it'll fit up and that. So I haven't had time to get the cows in that. But trust me, that will work. Regardless, that is the Manure Heap for Small Farms by Hell River. Now for the Chain Link Fence and Gate. This is by Modding Association. 0.35 megabytes download. Slot count is one for the gate and one for each individual fence. And yeah, essentially what it is, it's a Chain Link Fence. So yeah, I've got two doors in. Or sorry, two gates in. And these fences are two and a half meters each. And you'll find these under build mode, under decorations, under fences, go towards the end. And yeah, once you get through all the premium expansion stuff, you'll find them over here. So 500 for the gate itself, 4 meters wide. And you can see, each individual chaining fence is 2.5 meters. Cost does vary, it says about, it says 50, well, correction, it says 50 bucks per meter, so... 125, that is 2.5 meters. Well, it goes up to 150 before you need a another gate, so technically that is a 3 meter fence you can have, but usually, yeah, 125 bucks, whatever, is 2.5 meters, so... But yeah, you can just connect these if you wish, so... Get cre creative with it, and things like that, you'll need... So it's something like a BGA now, like BGA, or like some of your productions, you want a bit of security, Rather than a little puny little wooden fence post in that, have some proper gates. And also when you place it down, you feel this sudden, I'm going to stop talking in a sec. Hear that clonk, metal eat. But yeah, handy little bit. Very helpful. That's not the highs of metal chaining fences and gates we've seen. But yeah, the day does the job, serves its purpose and that, secure your farm or your productions or Whatever you want to use for. Heck it, we've got some big buzz we're looking at later, all the case stigers and that. Protect your big expensive equipment with a chain link fence. But anyways, this is the chain link fence and gate by Modding Association. Next. Now for some trees. This is the Aricarius, or by its scientific name, the Ariacha Angusta Ufolia. And yeah, this is by Noimog Mod. 5.77 megabytes to download. Slot count is three slots for each of these individual trees, and they do come in three separate options. And yeah, essentially what this is, it's a Brazilian tree nap. You'll find these trees very common in South America, especially around the regions of Brazil and that. And it's mainly found in the states of Parana. They also can be found in Sao Paulo, the Monagarias and mainly in the Serra da Mantiqueira, in the mountain regions of the state of Rio de Janeiro, as well as small parts of Argentina and Paraguay. But yeah, so you'll find this under build mode, under decorations, under others. And yeah, 70 bucks that to place down. And you do have free roam in terms of rotating. And now you're wondering, can you cut this down with a tree harvester?
So there we go, we got the Rotla H21D. This is the biggest tree harvester you'll have in base game. But yeah, since it's a decoration item, I doubt you can cut these down. And yeah, nothing's coming up whatsoever. So yeah, it's just purely a decorative item. And let's, why not see if we get, say, a chainsaw. Can you cut these down? No, I think they, yeah, these are purely decorative trees. You don't get any wood chips or that, like, yeah, nothing's come up to chop them down, so, fair enough. But yeah, I thought you still quick test that to show. But anyways, this is the Aracarius Trees by Noimog Mod. Next. Now for the Bunker Size Shed, this is by Sebi Modding. 8.25 megabytes download, 7 slots for console. And yeah, what this is, is a shed and a bunker silo. So yeah, he uses a shed store equipment. Or as a bunker silo for, as you can see, fermenting silage in there. And I just did a bit of a quick fill up in that. It's not perfect in that, as well with the roof and that, like using the TARDIS traders. Like, actually if I show you one I was using. Like, one of these traders over here. Yeah, pretty large in that, but again, like very... Uh, pretty much similar to the last no, Costas one, sorry, like the TARDIS one, so you're going to need a, a very small trader, or a trader that doesn't tip upwards, so maybe something like the Stroutman in that, like the base game Stroutman, so if I quickly show what you I was on about, so, so Forge Wagons and that, but yeah, I think it's like the Stroutman here and that, where you can just unload it out of the back. The back end will lift up, the flat bit will flap up, and then, yeah, it will discharge as normal. So, I was able to get about 400,000 liters kept in, using these little mud, uh, little dirt textures here, by a, another bunker style set, by, I think it's Top Ace 888. Just keep the chaff in that, whilst I was quickly filling up. But yeah, I'll say, once you get this compacted down, if you're able to properly fill this up to... The height, so yeah, I'll say you could probably go up to here and that. But in terms of capacity, and that once it's all compacted, I'll say it's probably around a million liters of that, like maybe 750,000 liters to a million and that. But yeah, these are the little bits I've clipped out and that, so don't worry about that. It's not, it's not the mod clipping out, it's me trying to fill this up with a trailer and that. But yeah, these bits here, these are the bits I was clipping out by the actual mod itself, not what I was using to fill up in that, so little thing to note with that. But regardless, you'll find this under build mode, under silos, under buildings and silos, bunker size shed, 75 grand to put down. There is no colour options for the shed itself. So yeah, it's a bit on the steep end now, but again, you don't have to just use it for a bunker side, you can use it to store your equipment or anything else like that, like your pants and all that, so it does have a multi-use, so regardless, pretty decent I'll say, and this was the bunker side shed by Sebi Modding. Next. Now for the modern wooden barn, this is also by Modding Association. 9.5 megabytes to download. Slot count is 5 goes down to 1. And yep, essentially what it is, is a wooden barn, so... Got a door here and that you can use. Also, light switch just by the door here, so... Trigger L3. See, so yeah, overall, it's actually not pretty bad, actually. And you can't open that from the inside, so... You're gonna have to go around on the outside. To open your gate like so, which actually, I do like stuff like that and that. But yeah, pretty decent size. No other switches than that. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit of a dim than that, but at the end of the day, does the job it's needed in that, provide that little bit of light, lightning. Lighting, not lightning. <laughs> but regardless, you'll find this also under build mode, under sheds, and yep, yeah, as you can see, one room barn, five slots goes down to one, also costs 75 grand. No color configurations or anything like that. But yeah, you can use this, store machinery, equipment, and all sorts. And in terms with the length of that, it's 40 meters lengthways and 80 meters going across. 
with a daily upkeep of 55 bucks, pounds, euros, whatever currency you're using. But yeah, that is the Modern Wooden Barn by Modern Association. Next. Now for something a little bit different. Here we're looking at the Normandy War Mail. This is by JM Gaming. 34.17 megabytes of download, 18 slots on console. And yeah, essentially what this is, is a generator where you can produce an income of 3,000 bucks and that per month. Cost 30 grand to place. And yeah, I'll just place it down as it is. Not under free mode or anything, I'll just let the landscape and do its thing. And just hear that water animation. So yeah, let's just move back there a little bit to get just my voice to be clear in that. So yeah, something like that, you're going to need to place down like a, near a river in that river, a little stream, or even a pond or something. And yeah, there's mods that can do that. Well actually, if I have a quick of a gander, yeah, I've got that purchase. We're on No Man's Land by A and Jim, for those who are wondering. There is a little pond down here in that, that used to be the water source in FS19. But yeah, so... You'll find this under your productions and generators. Yeah, 3000 a month, as you can see. And yeah, what I want to do is... I don't know how this is going to work, so I'm thinking... Something like that. Yeah, builds itself up in that. We need to get something over there, so bear me a sec. There we go. Have a little look here in that, so... Yeah, this is something more you see. And yeah, it does look a lot better like here and that than just on a bit of concrete and that, but yeah, there's no like water going over or anything like that. It does, yeah, a bit of a weird with the landscape and I was wondering, can you like just smooth the edges out or is it fixed? Oh no, you can adjust it with the train that, you know, just make things a little bit smoother now. See how much you can do that by on max. Go over here. Yeah, there we go, so actually it's not that bad. So yeah, it's a bit better now. It's a bit of a jarring look there, but you've got decorations that you can use, and if you use something like this, there is many ways you get creative by that. But regardless, that is the Normandy War Mill by JM Gaming. Next, Workshop. This is by Michu77. 58.42 megabytes of download. Cost 45 grand. Day upkeep of 10 bucks, pounds, or dollars. And yeah, this is a very heavy slot counted shed. So yeah, 43 slots goes down to two after purchasing. Yeah, I do like the little lock animations, like, that is very neat. Got a door that opens, so you can just about fit underneath. With some minor clipping, but, yeah, overall's not too bad. Love the detail. And yeah, you got a little door here, that leads to your workshop. So yeah, trigger is just over here. Like so. Yeah, the with the range is only within the workshop uh, vicinity. But yeah, so you'll find this under build mode, under buildings, and yep, yeah, 45 grand, 43 slots goes down to 2. There is no colour options or anything like that. But yeah, it's going to show off these other doors. But yeah, you look, look animations, absolutely love that. And yeah, overall, decent space in that for storing that. Maybe store some of the older the combines and that. Nothing too big, I don't think. Just based on the height and width limitations, but overall it's not too bad. Love the wear details on it. And I see when you place it down without using free mode, it does the so that is one thing to note. But yeah, so that is the Hall with Workshop by Michu77. Next. Now for the American Midwest Mason Shop. This is by ICAS. 12.96 megabytes to download. 
free slots for console and of course it's by iCast so it is some awesome work, lovely love the details, there are 25 colour options. Yeah, like, like the little concrete bits here and that. Absolutely enjoy those, so yeah, let's go and open these. Love the wonder animation. And yeah, so if you're a fan of American workshops and all that, yeah, you certainly love these. I like the little triggers and that, cause your doors and that. Also got your light switch over here. Now we'll turn on the outside lights. And your internal ones is just over here somewhere. Always could find all these light switches and that, but yeah, just over here and that. And a little jump cut there, so yeah, light switch is just here and that, by the doors and that. And yeah, so this is also a workshop, so pretty much anywhere in this vicinity here will do. Also, this little area here, sort of see by the little drainage area. This is where you can like, wash your equipment after a long day in that. And it turns with the distance in that, so... Yeah, you can get about end-to-end -to, -end to the bays here. With no issues whatsoever. And yeah, even more doors here, so all these are dry throughable, so... You don't have to limit yourself on where you place these down. And yeah, you'll find these under build mode, under sheds. So yeah, pretty expensive, I'll admit. 200 grand to place down, but overall it is worth it. So let's go over here. So yeah, do you have some color options? As I mentioned, there are 25 different color options. Of course, it's by iCast, so I think I love about like, some of its mods that recently is. The level of detail that goes into this, and just yeah, just everything else. It is a bit shiny over here. That may put some people off. Me personally, I don't mind in that. Like I do like the sort of. Oh, uh, I'm not sure how you describe it. In terms of the glints and on the floor, now like being polished. That's it. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. But yeah, overall, and yeah, this is the American Midwest Maintenance Shop by Icas. Next, shed. This is by BK Mods. 11.92 megabytes of download. Slot count is 13, goes down to 1. And yep, yeah, nice little shed in that. And yeah, it is a complete shed because you got spaces to store your pallets and bells and that. Yep, these aren't auto loading or anything like that. So you do have to manually load these on. But you got a couple of decent bays in that. Fit a combine harvester in that. Got a little outdoor area there, if you wish. Now if you head over here, we've got a fill tank area here, and this is free water and free diesel. And I mean, free, completely free, and I was like, wondering, like, oh, what is this like a fill type in that? How much is it going to cost in that? Thought I broke it with not being charged in that, but no. Actually, it is free water and free diesel, so... Once again, you'll find us on the build mode, under your sheds. And, yeah, right at the end, 50 grand to purchase. Goes down to one slot after purchasing it. Yeah, no color configurations like so. But yeah, overall, I love the brick and mortar work. And you do have some lights. And again, I'm recording this on Monday now, so... Yeah, I've got the light switch. And now you know what? Actually, no. Yeah, I just remembered. <laughs> yeah, so these are like automatic lights. So there are also, of course, no light switches. Or there's going to be something on the walls. But no, these are automatic lights. They come on at night. But yeah, so these are an awesome bit of shed and that. And yeah, definitely something I recommend. 15 grand, free water and diesel and that. And yeah, the lights are automatic. They come on at night. Also, you do have a snow mask on the shed as well, so when it's snowing, you get a decent little snow mask in that. But yeah, so that is the complete shed by BK Mods. Next. Now for some of our productions and that, and first of all we got the Fermenter 60,000L. This is by DS Power. 8.03 megabytes to download. Slot count is 10, goes down to 
one. And uh, yeah, essentially what this is, is a fermenter to get silage. So you can get silage from your grass with a bit of diesel, chaff with diesel, straw with diesel, hay with a bit of diesel, as well as potatoes with diesel. And so yeah, I'll let this run a bit. So in terms of the capacities, it is 60,000 years for everything, with the exception of diesel, which is 6,000 years of fuel. And yeah, all of these are the exact same recipes now at 240 cycles per month. And the requirements are 1,500 liters of the input material, along with 4 liters of diesel, and I guess 1,500 of silage. So, in terms of your maximum throughput in that, so that would be 360,000 liters a month, on top of 960 liters of diesel. So, Actually, something like that ain't too shabby in that. And yeah, this costs 60000 to purchase. And you find this under build modes and productions. So yeah, fermenter 60,000L, 60,000 to buy, 60,000 your capacity. And yeah, it may not be in the most biggest capacities in that, but for a little fermenter in that, people's not too bad. So your input is just over here. And you got your output over here to our tank over here. Hopefully, I can get this hooked up. Otherwise, we'll swap to a tractor a sec. I know that will work, so let's go and back you up. Get these potatoes in, so yeah, decent trigger air in that, so yeah, very easy to use in that. Yeah, there we go. 60,000 years of potatoes. And let me just go and dump some potatoes on the ground and I'll show you filling these up. So let's go and just go dump. There we go. And yeah, let's just head over here. See so this is going to be output pipe. And yeah, so you can now put the individual items if you wish, or decide yourself. Side out, turn this back on, and yeah, to be fair, it's not the noisiest of items. Yeah, like, honestly, to be fair, not actually not bad. So, overall, not too bad. Nice little bit of kit. So, yeah, that is the Fermenter 60,000L by DS Power. Next, now we've got the Energy Generators, this is by Neville Gaming, or New Vol Gaming, New Well Gaming, I think. 0 0.72 megabytes of download, and essentially what this is, is a way of generating electricity. And yeah, you got a very sort of means of generating electricity for the generator over here. So, yeah, you got large solar panels, got turbines and that, and also the electric charge comes out in pallets 20,000 years and that is something I think we've never seen before especially on console now like having these little pads and that pallets and that and yeah they're not liftable and that 280 kilograms so you weigh and yeah in terms with slot counts it is 2, 3, 3 and 2 so yeah, let's go into your build mode, under productions, and I'll just shoot these off. Actually, sorry, it's under generator, so buildings, productions, generators. So yeah, your small solar pan, or small solar collector, that is two slots, cost 7,800. Got your large solar collector, that is three slots, goes down to one. Then you got your small wind turbine, and then your generator. And all of these generate some profit in that, and in terms with how much profit you can get, for example, with even a bit grand, that is what, eight months so, seven, eight months of work in that, so within a year, you will have no problems with this. And on top of that, with these batteries and that, the electric charge and that, you can sell them if you wish, so if we go into our prices and that. 
does this actually show up? So, actually, I'm not too sure on that. So, let's have a little quick look. And obviously, it doesn't pop up here. Nope, nothing for the extra charge in that. But you can sell these and actually just give this a little go. Sexo, so, bear with me. Points here. So, let's go and see. And yet, we are selling the electricity. So. Okay, that was 35. So yeah, let's go get the right trigger on that. But yeah, we're selling just little bits at a time, so... Every sec whilst I figure this out, because I thought this would just work as fine. So, you know what? That didn't work, so... What I'm going to do is, since I haven't got the... Uh, what's it? Straps and that on me. I'm just going to push this over. see if that will work by selling so just playing football with the pallets here so well yeah maybe it was easier to just reset this and grab the CSE pack stuff and that uh, nope. come on we'll see how much we can get from this there we go so yeah so we'll see first couple here A look. Yeah, that is slowly setting, so let's wait until this is sold because that's going to take a while. So, who you are, this is absolutely taking forever to sell. That's one of those things, I think it's designed in this way to sell over time rather than be a quick bang. Here's all your money. It just gradually sells over time now, which again, I don't have an issue with, but so yeah, we are selling what 30,000 a year. So let's go and just see how much we can get for this. So just move you off. And for that, got 30,866. So yeah, about uh, just under a thousand for a thousand a year. So yeah, not too bad. A bit of a waste of time that was, but again, in the way you actually wasn't, it's a good thing to, bit of information to know. And yeah, that is more designed for over time. And that's just going over the productions themselves. So the wind and solar, just place them down and you get electric charge instantly. And yeah, I even left this running over time. We'll go over the generator in a sec. But yeah, even the solar. I've had this running for a year almost, pretty much, and that bar has barely gone up so yeah you can store a crap ton of electricity and yeah so yeah that's what 285 grand's worth so and not too shabby for a year's work off free electric and that and moving on to the generator itself so that requires diesel and yeah it's a 1 to 10 ratio and that is tw sorry so yeah, these are very slow churn productions and that, so that's going to be a thing to note. But yeah, overall, it's not that bad of a production and that. Uh, yeah, sh try to let that sell on its own, but, but yeah, overall, it's not too bad, not too shabby. Something I recommend if you're looking for some like cheap electricity or just want something that like, you can just churn over time and then in the year, bam, get a quarter of a meal. Corfield 300 grand and that is it so yeah that is the energy generators by Newell Gaming next for our final place ball to be put up before we move on to equipment we got the car finish this is by RC3D Polite Shorts Group 18.19 megabytes to download it is 15 slots on console and goes down to one uh, yeah essentially this is a little calf village that protects your small calves from the wind and weather it is 25 watt by 60 meters costs 8 grand 80 bucks and that's of a daily upkeep and there is information which essentially this makes it a require more than that i haven't got it on installed in that but it says you have to place the maxter calf igloos in the calf village yourself 
And yep, yeah, so this ain't by Polly Short's group and that. It is by Kath Igloo by Maxter and that. And that on its own is a PC only mod. You can get the decorative item of this on console and that, but that's just a basically a decorative, so that sort of renders this mod useless. And I will say it is useless. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice decorative piece and that, but in terms of functionality and usage, really, besides from storing equipment, pants and that here, yeah, it's not really anything else, but yeah, anyways, so yeah, you got your night lights, so you can turn those on and off. Also, here, you've got your normal lights, turn on and off. And if you want, you can try to turn both of them on, and you sort of get that sort of haziness, so if I turn red lights off. Yeah, so I get that sort of like haziness of the red and that, but, but yeah, apart from that, got a little office space over here and that. And when you place it down, does leave a grass texture. And yet, yeah, you'll find this under build mode, under sheds. And that is just over here. There we go. See so yeah, a cat village. No colour options or anything like that. I do like to wear it on the roof now. One thing I will say is to wear it on the roof and that. You know, the galvanised roof and that. Uh, yeah, that's something I like in that. In terms with a decorative piece. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's a decorative piece. It costs 8 grand. If you're on a tight budget, personally, I don't recommend this. But yeah, as the helicopter is going past, that is the Cavendish by RC3D. Ploit Shorts Group. Next, we'll head on to our equipment. So, moving on from a user's mod to actual mods that are useful. So, first of all, we got the Elho Scorpio 5th, sorry, 55.0. This is by Olden Farm and Priviat Priviat. 5.22 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9 slots goes down to 1. And yeah, essentially, this is a rock picker and that. So, You'll find this under tools and rock pickers. And rock pickers or stone pickers are over here, so yeah, this is basically exactly the same as the base game. Slight difference of it's slightly lighter. Same horsepower requirement. Working with is slightly less at 5 meters rather than 5.5. And you look at the base game, all you got is tire options. Whilst with this, also you got your tire options. Along with a attacher type, so you got your trailer and your toolbar, so you got a male pin and a female pin hole. And yeah, this does unlock the base game color palette option, so you can obviously adjust this to as you wish to match a certain brand. But apart from that, it is really, yeah, pretty much nothing too special. It says also. The drawbar is adjustable with the mouse, but obviously I'm on console, and we don't have mouse on console, so... Anywho, we'll get hooked up, so... And there you go. But yeah, so, you can adjust it on console. Obviously, it was, yeah, sometimes descriptions like that, adjust the camera angle. There you go, go up and down, up and down. You see the hoses do adjust. Yeah, it does look a bit weird than that if you're doing it from a distance. But yeah, so if I say lower set stone picker. Yeah, so you got to make sure it's lowered, so like that. And there you go, so you can lower it manually in a way, so turn this baby on. Obviously, I don't have stones in that. Maybe I can find a field with some stones in that, but... Overall is actually not too bad on that, so go into our fields, enable stones. Do I have stone built? I do. Ah, so I can do those. What about the root crops? I think I just go plow field in that. Nope, so yeah, the fielding is always to be harder than that, but at the end of the day, it serves its function at. In some ways, slightly better than the basic version, in other ways, slightly worse, so... At the end of the day, do you, 
Are you willing to sacrifice that 0.5 meter bird width for color options and a fun adjustable hitch support in that? Uh, let's get that fold up. Nice decent animations as always. But yeah, apart from that, not much else to be said about it. So yeah, this is the El Ho Scorpio 55-0 by Olden Farm. Now we've got the Wolfogny RSR 300. This is by 76 Max, 4.66 megabytes to download, and essentially this is a roller. Four slots for console goes down to one. And you find this under your tools and under rollers. So just looking for our rollers, there we go. Go towards the end. 5,500 to purchase, requires 45 horsepower, work width of 3 meters, work speed of 11 miles an hour, and weighs 1.54 tons. So that's 1.7 tons here in that. Well, 1,540 kilograms, but for yeah, some reason it says 1.7 tons. But yeah, so essentially this is a 3 meter roller. Better than a 3 meter cold I'm guessing. But yeah, so there is no color options or anything like that. So go into our case. You're using that one way of attaching, so you can attach this via the front or via the rear. Either way will work. So yeah, be attached. Yeah, only raise and lower set roller. Start rolling. And yeah, it leaves that rolling texture down on the ground. But yeah, overall, essentially, if you're looking for something cheap in that, that could do, like, use small equipment now, with only a 45 horsepower requirement. That is pretty much every tractor it covers, apart from maybe some of the inky dinky ones here and that. But I think that's that. Yeah, it pretty much works with everything. Even with the premium and platinum expansion stuff, so. Yeah, unless you're reusing these like re older tractors now, like the Volvo Crabat, the Zator, or the Porsche, or Porsche, depends on where you're from. Yeah, will fit any tractor now and will do the job just fine. So that is the Quavigny RSR 300 by 76 Max. Next, we've got the Chrome Trailer Pack. This is by MW Mika 3615. Her Krupp, El Matador, and Weekend Farmers. 43.07 megabytes to download. Slot counts are 11 slots for the swivel traders and 13 slots for the fixed axles. And yeah, essentially, this is a pack of chrome traders. So you got green traders and you also got your bell traders in that. So yeah, you'll find this under tools and traders. Go towards the end. So yeah, you got your two trailers here. And these do support the bigger bell types. And you do have bells all to those and bell pallets. On top of that, you got your configurations for your trailer. So twenty-two and a half thousand litres. One with just potatoes, sugar beet. Also you got your eighty thousand litre capacity. And back down to your bells all out. In terms of wheel brands, got your Continental, Nokians, First Rhines, BKTs, different wides, Lizard Twin Wheels, and back to your Continentals. Mud flaps, yes or no, so that's going to be at the rear. Attacher type, so you got your top or your low, so it's depending on the tractor and that, so you got your ball hitch there, so for us to like pick up. Or for a tractor and that, then yeah, you'll go with your top attacher type. Color configuration, so changes the chassis and the wheel hubs. And then also you got your bore colors like so. And then also you got your metal color. So that'll change your metal. And then that's you got your cover and that. So we'll go over those now. So yeah, we'll go to your trays and that because you can clearly see the differences between your boards, your metals, and your cover colors, along with chassis, of course, just to make it all distinct and that. And swivel axle is exactly the same thing, I'm going to go over that too much. 
So yeah, I've got some bells to up, so got a fair few larger round bells than that, so yeah, in terms with square bells, I should start with these ones, so your big round bells, that is six bells. For your square bells, that is three, six, twelve. For your small round bells, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14 small round bells. And yeah, this was something I had an issue with, so I'm going to detach those a sec. So yeah, first of all, I'm going to show off the trailer over here. So this is the Super Vaxel version, so... Got your open cover, yes and no. And I do like how they roll. Then L1, left stick, up and down. Flip a little ladder in that, so you can go up it. Then you can reach the upside back, left, right or your green door so up let's go tip side left and then Nasty will go tip side back so right is gonna be tipping to your left see so yeah, overall decent unknown speed in that but yeah also got your lights left indicator right indicator so yeah, overall is actually too bad in that, especially yeah, costing 25 and 27 grand to start off with. But yeah, so this is not the one I had issues with. The one that I had issues with is on one of these, so let's try to shoot this, so there's not that one. See, it's actually these square bells I'm having issues with, so... Yeah, as you can see, it has 14 bells and that. Not too bad, and... Yeah, actually, what I'll do is show the unknown bells, so... Let me get you unknown bells. No, don't do ladder and that. You want to turn on unload insistent. And then you can unload your bells like so, you can just go wee. And actually, they do unload pretty far in that, to be fair in that. But yeah, you can rotate it and all that. Adjust it however you wish. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, square bells, I know it's a bit of a weird issue. These on. It says at the bottom, only 6% field. Even though 12 bells is its own limit, so... Yeah, not sure on that. But yeah, if you want, you can unload your bells and that, do like a manual overload. And then, Bob's your uncle, you got your 12 bells and that. And then for all terms with the point capacity, I think this is like a medium fence tractor, so it's not too bad in that. Yeah, handles pretty well. And yeah, some of our axles are better than that in some ways, but for me personally, I do love to fix axles. Especially when it comes to doing this. Reversing. And yeah, also when you reverse, so you've got your reversing lights along with your hazard lights. And yeah, that's not on the track or anything, so that's on its own. But yeah, so it's only got to be when you're in active reverse. Even if, yeah, with automatic clutching and gears. We'll go to neutral now, but if you're in reverse stance, you get your light snap popping up, so overall, not too bad, not too shabby. So yeah, about 12 to 14 bells and that, again, different bell types and that will support other bell types. But yeah, so going back to the train out, that's why it says it supports the larger bells using the acceptable bell capacity mod. So yeah, these support those, so if you use spells, not an issue with. Quick bells, not an issue, and acceptable. But yeah, so anyway, that is the Chrome Traders Pack by Micha3615, Hercap, El Matador, and Weekend Farmers. Next. So next we've got the Volcano yeah, Volcano Trader Pack. This is by Nasim Martin, Eric Isaac, and AgriMods. 10.99 megabytes to download. Slot count is Five slots for the C17 and six slots for the C16. So six slots and five slots. 
and the only difference is the attacher. So the C17 attaches to a fifth wheel, whilst the C16 attaches via a trailer hitch. And you can do a tandem of these, as you can see. So if you want to do a road train, then by all means. So yeah, you'll find this under traders. We went past this when we looked at the last train mod, so. 25 grand respectively each. They only support your basic crops and that, so your grains, along with your corn, soybeans, sunflowers, seed, and fertilizer. So it's not a multi fruit trailer to note. But yeah, so you do have a variety of color options. So you've got your main colors here. Also, you've got your second main color, which changes the actual main metal bits and that. For your third metal color, that will change the back of the door and that, and the bumper and that. And that is it. And then that's it. you got your rim cutters. And yeah, it's exactly the same as this. And your brands, you are a little bit limited. But you do have some nice rims as an option and that. So that's going to be your Continentals and that. So different rims and that. So it's all Continentals, it's all just different rims and that. So yeah, your cross tracks. But yeah, apart from that, nothing much else to say. And I'm just going to pinch one of these lorries a sec. And yeah, what I'm going to do is just show these off. So we'll back up and get you hooked. There we go, let's just get you hooked up. So you've got your options to unload. And as you'll see, it all unloads from the bottom, so just a thing to note. So yeah, there's always design for cell points and silos that you'll drive underneath or have like a belt system that will swing out as part of the AGI pack and that stuff, so things like yeah, like your meridians that these kind of trailers, or not trailers, these conveyor belts. Also, the ones that from the AGA pack and that, and also general silos and that, where you can drive over and not have an issue with in terms of unloading. But yeah, apart from that, there it is, nothing else. Yeah, there's no adjustment on what you can do in terms of unloading. Got your cover and open covers. Yeah, apart from that, not much else to say about it. So yeah, this is the Volcano Trader Pack by NASA Modded, Eric Azak and Algo Mod. Moving on to your vehicles now. So just have a little look. So yeah, we've got the Mac Anthem. This is by IBM Modding Team. 19.07 megabytes of download. Slot count is 17 slots for the cab version. So that's the one here. And 16 slots for the sleeper option. So yeah, you'll find these under your vehicles, under trucks. So yeah, 93 grand for the cab day and 125 grand base price for your sleeper version. And you do have a lot of configurations here. So you've got your chrome tanks, chrome tanks with painted supports, metallic tanks, metallic tanks with supports, and then yeah, your plastic tanks. And back to chrome. So yeah, kind of have all sorts of options. Your engines and that, so you got your Anthem 6x4, 425 horsepower, 455, 505, like so. Then yeah, you got your sleeper cab options, so different options. Some have little, just like crimp bits and that. But yeah, overall it's not too bad, I actually do like these and that. Then you got your mirrors and that, so these will be here at the front. So painted mirrors, chrome, plastic, painted mirrors and hood mirrors, chrome mirrors and that, plastic painted pretty much, and back to your painted mirrors. So you've got chrome, painted, plastic, and back to chrome. Then you got your side skirts, so you've got your metallic, chrome, painted, painted with chrome side skirts. Painted side skirt too, so you just have a full one cover if you wish. And back to your metal side skirt. You've got your metallic front grille, chrome, painted, and back down to metallic. 
And also you've got more mud flaps, so this is going to be the ones at the back. So chrome mud flap, chrome 2, painted, painted 2, plastic, plastic 2, and back to chrome. Therefore, exhaust, you've got your left, right, back exhaust, left, right, and so on. So your back exhausts are the Aussie duties and that. And that's one thing I love. It's the double twin exhaust. So I wish I have like proper stacks and that, but various can be choosers. Beacons, no or yes. Now your main colour, so you got your Mac red, and then you got your rest of your base game colour palettes. And then lastly, you got your rim, so basic chrome, grey or white. License plate and that is it. Yeah, this is going to be pretty much the same for both. Also, this is compatible with the Kubota DLC to have extra passengers and that. But yeah, in the cabinet. Lights. Lights up. So it goes to the front. Lights. Left of the keyer. Right in the keyer. Do have beacons on this. I do have beacons on the other one, so I'll show that. See, so yeah, there you go, you've got your beacons that, not too shabby. Yeah, it's not much what you can do, so apart from L1, and right stick left to right. And all that does is raises and lowers the window. Here on the left, you can tell that slight difference in that. But yeah, overall, that's actually not too bad for lowering that. So let's go and have a little quick of the gander. See a bit so getting up to gears and that, but that is with most stories and that, so first I don't I wouldn't worry now, but yeah, if you've got massive loads and that then yeah, 500 horsepower may not be for you and that, but for most people 500 horsepower should be enough. Again, depends on what map you're on that. If you've got lots of fields then yeah, personally I'll recommend some of the extra ones you can get in that in terms of horsepower and that. But yeah, overall's not too bad. So, turn them off. Horn. There we go. So yeah, overall, once again, not too bad of a bit of a kit in that. So yeah, we've got the Mac Anthem by IBM Modding. Next, we've got the Lizard Revolution. This is by Riley Christ VSR Modding Sir. It is 15.79 megabytes to download. Slot count is three slots goes down to one. Oh yeah, essentially Oh was that a peer build truck and that or peer build lorry and that is based on, I'm not too sure. But regardless, you'll find this under trucks. Eight seven grand to buy. Four hundred and eight horsepower up to one thousand and seven hundred. 810 litres of fuel, 55 miles an hour top speed, weighs 17.9 tons. So here you go, your 480, 580, 650, and then up to your 1723. And yeah, that changes, nothing else. Your oil brand, you've got your Continentals, your Lizard Custom, and back down to your Continentals. Cab section, so you've got your Short Cab, Short Cab 2. But just just as the mirrors and that, where or not in the mirrors of the lights. Short cabin and that is it. And then for the actual short cabin. So yeah, some minor extensions on the front, yes or no pretty much. The exhaust, so you got your front exhaust, rear exhaust, front exhaust, and rear. So you can adjust these back and forward. Next for your body design, so you got your vinyl wraps and that, so no vinyl lines or none so yeah very limited on what you can have but again at least there's options for it so colors including chrome and all that chrome or copper revolution and then apart from that just got your basic base game color palette so let's go with a nice bright orange revolution design color go with a green and that should be, yep, yeah, your vinyl. So, yes or no for your vinyls. If so, that second design colour is what that is for. And then you've got your interior. So, let's go with a nice blue to make it pop in that. 
And these are only the custom colours. Then you got your rims. So you got your polished. Then your greens like so. Licence plate and that is it. Hop into here. Ooh, I like how that sounds. Nice little old like foghorn style net. L1, R1, R1, nothing to do that. Apart from just get up and go. So, yeah, I think for me personally, this is the better lottery net to have, but again, in the end of the day, that's my opinion. That didn't have to agree with it. As long as you can understand and respect my opinion, then at the end of the day, that's all that matters in life. And I don't have to all be yes men and all that. Just be able to have civilized discussions and that. But yeah, this is a cracking little mod, is this. But yeah, I think this is a pit build, and I'm not too sure on that, because I really didn't have farms of game, farms of 25 will get pit built and all that, so... Overall, I'm looking optimistic on that. But yeah, turn you off. Yeah, not too bad of a bit of a kit. Especially for a cheap price of 117 grand for the, was it, 1,700 horsepower? That is an absolute banger. So, that is the Lizard Revolution by Ray Chris via some modern soil. Next, on to your penultimate mod for the day. We've got the Tatra Phoenix Crusher Pack. This is by HR Forest and Foy Zork Brew. It is 23.71 megabytes to download. Slot count is 21 for the Crusher Lorry Nat and 7 slots for the Trader. So yeah, essentially what this is, is a mobile wood chip station. So you turn it on. So yeah, trailer, now you've got tips at back. Rain door and that. And also we've got the, so L1. Right stick up and down. Yeah, couldn't find, oh no, it's the flaps there, that's it. So yeah, when you're unloading that, follow the hopper and that. Got options to raise and lower the flap. Got your pipe in. Like so, so yeah, you're gonna fold that completely. But yes, yeah, turn this lorry on. So now that's the crusher going. So you got your control group one, so this is gonna be your main crane. So left, right, up, well, back and forwards, up and down, and so on and so forth. There we go. Just have a little quick look, nothing else has changed, so yeah, let's go and lift one of these logs up at least, so Actually, yeah, I'm not sure how my grammar skills is going to be. So it's hopping, you see the wood chips coming out. Now I'm going to try with a cr All I'm going to do is just you like so. There we go. Nope. Come on. There we go. That's it. And then just grab the logs. Then grab Jack Squat. So there we go. Got a bit of a chunky log here. And one thing I want to do is rotate this so. Like it's right stick like so. And yeah, that is a very glitchy. Yeah, we'll try to see if we can grab a big log in that. There we go. Bring it closer. And the theory should just be like so. Obviously I'm going very over the top here with the size of the logs here. I do something like this you would break down in that, but obviously I didn't do that, so. But yeah, you get the idea, you grab it, you lift it up in that. Oh, I'm not the best at demonstrating this, I will admit to that. But yeah, regardless, so you'll find this under, first of all, your vehicles and forestry equipment. Go towards the end, so you've got your Frankenstein Crusher and that. And it also has to do your winches and that, so it weighs 14 and a half tons, winch support of 15 tons, so you can pull up to 15 tons. Top speed 62 miles an hour, 470 euros of fuel, 850 horsepower, and 
yeah, really at the end of the day, you got your reflector strips, like so, but apart from that, yeah, it's nothing, just your little strips on the side. And then from there, you can got a whole plethora of customizations. So, for example, you've got your cabs and all that, just changing all the colours and that. Yeah, I picked the same colour there, didn't mean to. But yeah, this is extremely customizable in terms of colours and that. Then lastly, you got your cool colours. Let's go with a nice purple net or something. There we go. <laughs> Max him clicked onto purple. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad in that. And yeah, if you go to your combinations, you could obviously that pops up in that. But obviously, you can just look under your forestry equipment. And towards the end, well, nope. Under trailers, perhaps. Go towards the end. And yeah, there we go. 52,000. Oh, 29,500 years. Can do normal crops if you wish. And then, yeah, for your design, so you got your grids and your transparent glasses and that. So, yeah, let's have a little look. Ah, yeah, there we go. So, it's these things here. And then, yeah, colors again, customized to your heart's content. Like so. But yeah, apart from that, not too bad for more, nice little bit of kit in that. So yeah, that is the Tatra Fiends Crush Pack by HR Forest and Foyt Zoidbull. Next, on to our final mods of the day, we've got another little packet of tractors and that, and this is the Big Bud Series 1 pack. This is by Class Classic American Icons and Badal 2003. 55.13 megabytes to download and yeah this is a pack of three big buds and they do have slightly different slot counts so so not off with the HN that is 20 slots goes down to one your KTs are 19 and your Welker so your Welker farm ones are 16 slots and there's a reason for that we'll go over that in a sec so the base price is 101 grand and you find these under your vehicles under large tractors Go towards the end. So yeah, 101 grand as base price. And then as you go up in the different categories, including your welcome farm ones, prices just go up, but that also reflects the horsepower age, I think to be honest. So starting off with the HM Series 1. So you can customize all the other ways if you wish. Or just don't, depends on what you're into. Then you yeah, tire setups and that or engine setups. So yeah, nothing really crazy overpowering that. Well, brands like your might assist, twin wheels, single wheels, twin axes, tread board standards. So yeah, and we got your singles with that little white hub in that. Now it's going to be for the additional of your twin wheels. So optimistic for you to have that long in terms with having that second set of wheels on. But apart from that, yeah, overall it's not too bad. BKT, triples and that, but apart from that, yeah, it's not really interesting, so, but you got a huge plethora of different wheel setups and that, but anyway, so onto your decals, so you got your empty and factory decals, along with your buy sentinel kit, then your additional delivery, you got your standard, metal plate, all plates, and back to standards. Accessories, no. Anti sip, extra dark screen window, or just all of it. So, in the day, it depends on what you're wishing at. But yeah, the anti sip is just a little mat here, I think, where you go on and off. KT series are slightly different than that. All the different engines than that, so up to 525 horsepower. And yeah, again, got your twins and that, singles and all that other lovely good stuff. I just lost a tr my train of thought just right there in the middle of recording. But yeah, so yeah, the KC series and h type series do have options for customizables and that. And then moving on to your bulkers and that, so yeah, essentially you got your twins and that. Like so, twins. Not sure if you get triples and that, I haven't seen anything like, like triples and that. 
no, just twins, I think. Yep, yeah, all pretty much twins and that, so... Fortunately, no twins and that. Be a decal, so you've got custom decals. So that changes on the hood and that, so you big bud and that. With or without the stripes. Then you got your digital dashboard and all that. And yeah, that one there is yeah, 435 horsepower, 450 and 525. But yeah, overall, not too bad. 1,900 of your fuel tank capacity. That makes rather clean sense, so let's hop into one of these. Listen to that, that is an absolute beaut. Then in cab, so yeah, not much you can do apart from L1, R1. Left stick, left to right, opens and closes the hood. Then right stick, left to right, that opens and closes the door. See it overall. Not too bad of a kid, not fast to use it myself. Driving it, and yeah, overall, not too bad. That's pretty loud, and yeah. Sure, yeah, I've probably got the Big Buzz Series 1 pack on mod up now, so yeah, I think that's going to please a lot of people. And now let's get us all sorted in that and start recording today's mod reviews on Monday and that. Just because of where I was away the weekend, that didn't get back until late Sunday. I absolutely hung up my bloody ass, and yep, yeah, slept all of last night, all of this morning, and yep, yeah, currently it is 6 o'clock. Muscle on just dropped about an hour ago or so. And yeah, it's gonna take forever to download all these mods and that. Got a map and that I want to look at that, but again I've missed map tours and that, so uh, with me starting working out, I'm not sure if I can get around and do the map tours until the weekend. This weekend and that, so yeah, the map tour may have to wait. Go do all the normal mods and that, and then yeah, try to get let's play recorded tonight. Ready for tomorrow, but anyways, that is all of the mods for Friday, <laughs> which I missed that. Yeah, Friday the 24th of May. As always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment below if you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, see me from Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all a very soon.